Meet Thailand's newest police officer, and it's not human. This is AI Cyborg 1.0, a real-life Robocop patrolling the streets right now with 360 degrees surveillance, facial recognition, and instant threat detection. But this is just the beginning. Across Asia, police robots are evolving in ways you wouldn't believe, from humanoid officers that can dance and backflip to indestructible sphere bots that patrol both land and water. By the end of this video, you'll see why the future of law enforcement looks nothing like we imagined. The streets of Thailand just became significantly more advanced with the deployment of AI Police Cyborg 1.0, a robotic officer designed to enhance public safety through cutting-edge surveillance and real-time threat detection. The Royal Thai Police unveiled it on April 16, 2025, deploying it during the Songkran Festival in Nakhon Pathom Province's Muang District, specifically along Tonson Road. Standing approximately 1.7 meters tall and weighing 80 kilograms, developed through a collaboration between Provincial Police Region 7, Nakhon Pathom Provincial Police, and Nakhon Pathom Municipality, this machine represents a major leap forward in law enforcement technology. At its core, Cyborg 1.0 operates as a mobile surveillance hub equipped with 360-degree smart cameras that provide uninterrupted monitoring of crowded environments. These cameras feed live footage directly to the province's command and control center, where AI-driven video analytics process the data instantaneously. Unlike traditional CCTV systems, this robot doesn't just record, it actively interprets visual information, identifying potential threats before they escalate. During its initial deployment, the robotic unit, officially named Pol Kol Nakon Pathom Plod Phi, Nakon Pathom is safe, demonstrated its powerful features as real-time facial recognition, which allows the system to scan crowds and flag individuals on watch lists. Matching faces is just the beginning. The AI analyzes multiple identifying factors, including clothing, body type, and gender, to track suspects even in densely packed areas. During the Songkran Festival, where thousands gather for water-based celebrations, this capability proved invaluable in maintaining order while filtering out harmless activities like water gun fights. Beyond facial tracking, Cyborg 1.0 specializes in behavioral threat detection. Its algorithms recognize aggressive movements, physical altercations, and unusual crowd patterns, instantly alerting human officers to potential disturbances. The system also identifies concealed weapons, distinguishing between harmless objects and genuine threats like knives or blunt weapons. By integrating drone footage and existing CCTV networks, the robot creates a comprehensive security net, ensuring rapid response coordination. It might sound like merely an experiment, but no, it's a fully operational extension of Thailand's law enforcement strategy. The Royal Thai Police have positioned Cyborg 1.0 as a critical tool for large-scale events, where human officers alone might miss subtle dangers in chaotic environments. As AI continues to evolve, so too will its role in public safety, potentially expanding to traffic monitoring, emergency response, and even predictive policing. But Thailand isn't the only country pushing robotic law enforcement into the future. China's latest creations are taking a very different and far more interactive approach. Before we get on with the video, hit the like button to prove you're not a robot. While Thailand's Cyborg 1.0 focuses on silent surveillance, China's Engine AI PM01 patrols with a different philosophy, one that blends enforcement with public engagement. This humanoid robot entered service in Shenzhen, Guangdong province, with its first public appearance on December 24, 2024, whose design draws visual inspiration from Iron Man with its glowing panel and light strip eyes. Designed to work alongside human officers, this humanoid robot doesn't stop at monitoring crowds. It interacts with them, responding to voice commands, shaking hands, and even performing backflips on demand. Standing at 1.38 meters tall and weighing 40 kilograms, the PM01 moves with surprising agility thanks to its reinforcement learning algorithms that enable natural, human-like motion. Unlike rigid mechanical robots of the past, this model walks smoothly, adjusts its balance dynamically, and executes complex maneuvers like front flips and squats. Its design prioritizes approachability with a high-visibility police vest and an interactive touchscreen that allows civilians to receive information or report incidents. 
Powered by a dual-chip Intel N9 and NVIDIA Jetson Orin system, it blends high-performance computing with unprecedented mobility, proving advanced robotics can be both capable and cost-effective. Priced at 88,000 yen, which would be around approximately $12,000, the business or education PM-01 humanoid costs $3,000 less than the Unitree's G1. Just last month, this Shenzhen-built robot made headlines as the first humanoid to perform a front flip, showcased in viral footage at a tourist center. If this robot seems familiar to some of you, you wouldn't be wrong. You see, the PM01 gained viral attention when popular YouTuber iShow Speed encountered one during a patrol in Shenzhen. In a now-famous clip, the robot engages him in a dance-off, mirrors his boxing gestures, and executes flawless acrobatics, showcasing its ability to captivate as much as it protects, not to mention the backflip without its head. Beyond entertainment, these interactions serve a strategic purpose, building public trust in robotic law enforcement. Underneath its friendly exterior, the PM01 remains a functional patrol unit. Equipped with LiDAR sensors and advanced processors, it navigates complex urban environments, identifies disturbances, and relays critical data to human counterparts. While its primary role currently involves assisting officers with routine surveillance, future updates could expand its capabilities to include suspect identification, first response, and even crowd control. China's investment in humanoid robotics reflects a broader vision, one where machines don't just enforce laws, but integrate seamlessly into society. The PM01 represents just the beginning of this shift, proving that police robots can be both efficient and engaging. Yet, for all its charm, China has another robotic enforcer that takes a far more formidable approach, one that operates not on two legs, but as a rolling, all-terrain sentinel. While humanoid robots like the PM01 handle public interactions, China's RTG spherical robot represents an entirely different approach to robotic law enforcement. Developed by Logan Technology, this autonomous security unit operates as a nearly indestructible patrol device, combining extreme durability with advanced AI surveillance capabilities. The RTG's spherical design serves as its greatest strength, allowing it to traverse multiple environments with unmatched efficiency. The robot moves at speeds up to 35 kilometers per hour, which is 22 miles in just 2.5 seconds, across land all while maintaining full functionality in water, making it effective for coastal patrols or harbor security. Its outer shell withstands impacts of up to four tons, about 8,818 pounds, enabling operation in disaster zones or riot conditions where traditional robots would fail. For law enforcement applications, the RTG comes equipped with multiple non-lethal suppression tools like net projectile launchers to immobilize suspects, tear gas dispersion systems for crowd control, directional sound wave emitters to disorient targets, and loudspeakers for public announcements. These systems integrate with the robot's AI-driven tracking software, which performs real-time facial recognition and behavioral analysis. When the RTG identifies a person of interest, it can autonomously pursue the target while simultaneously alerting human officers. In demonstrations, the unit has shown the ability to coordinate with other robots, creating networked surveillance zones that leave little room for escape. Powering these functions is an AI processor specialized for target acquisition and environmental navigation. The system processes data from multiple sensor arrays, including thermal imaging and 360-degree cameras, allowing it to track movement patterns even in low visibility. Unlike stationary surveillance systems, the RTG's mobility lets it reposition dynamically, adjusting patrol routes based on suspicious activity. Currently deployed in Chinese urban centers and high security zones, the RTG operates as both a visible deterrent and rapid response tool. Its spherical form factor provides advantages over humanoid or wheeled robots, no limbs to damage, no exposed components, and no stability issues on uneven terrain. Logon technology has emphasized its use in high-risk scenarios where sending human officers would be dangerous, including armed standoffs or hazardous material incidents. The company is seeing rising international interest, particularly from the United Arab Emirates. According to founder Wang Yu, several UAE companies have reached out to purchase the robot, with some already acquiring one or two units for testing. 
Wang noted that purchasing contracts are currently under negotiation, while the company is also working on obtaining necessary export and certification approvals. The number of overseas clients is expected to grow rapidly in 2025, as global demand for advanced security robotics continues to increase. As China expands its robotic policing initiatives, the RTG complements humanoid units like the PM01 by handling the most physically demanding enforcement tasks. Where one interacts, the other intervenes, creating a layered security system that blends AI surveillance with rapid response capabilities. So what's next? Robot cops everywhere? Less crime? Or less privacy? Thailand's Cyborg 1.0 is all business. China's PM01 is out here vibing with speed, and the RTG is basically a rolling terminator. Which approach works best? Drop your thoughts below and subscribe for more real-life future tech.